Celtic led by Paul McStay, Richard Garth leading out Rangers. And of course for both of these captains, well, a chance for the first time ever to put their hands on the trophy. What a record Rangers have in this competition, it's their 23rd appearance in the final. It's Celtic's 20th and uh, Rangers lead the series, a record 16 wins. Celtic have won the tournament nine times. Jakanowski, who's the top scorer in the tournament with four goals. And so this 45th League Cup final, the Skull Cup final, gets underway. Rangers charging forward through Ali McCoy's to get away from Peter Grant and the free kick awarded. Never Stephen leaving it. Mark Walters driving it forward. Well taken by Pat Bonner. Well check for Celtic. Trying to seek out his Polish teammate, Jakanowski. It's Fulton. Jakanowski. Lovely ball through to Crane. Well stopped by Chris Woods. Well, the best chance of the match so far. Fine build up by Celtic. Jakanowski did well. He got the ball through there to Craney and Chris Wood doing extremely well. Good ball by Trevor Stephen, it's not often you've been able to say that this season. Here's Paul McStay. Another test for Chris Woods. Well, it all began with a poor pass by Trevor Stephen McStay pouncing on it. Terry Hurlock charging back there and possibly doing just enough to put the Celtic captain off. Stay beavering hard for Celtic, just losing out. A look looking for McCoy's. McCoy showing tremendous pace. Bonner's committed himself. The referee indicating a dive by the Rangers striker and awarding the throw in to Celtic for well, the moment of some controversy. Well, well, I. If I was a referee, I think I might have been given a foul there, whether it was inside the box or outside. From here, you can't tell, but that was a foul, no doubt about it. Well, a real let off for Celtic. So Goff now trying to get his defence together. Paul Elliott's up there. John Brown's with him again at the far end of the box as Celtic prepared to take this corner through John Collins. Aiming it for Elliott and Rogan. Joe Miller teeing it up, driven forward, a deflection! Paul Elliott! 51 minutes gone, Celtic have taken the lead. Quickly getting the touch to McCoy. Walters! A magnificent goal by Matt Walters. 65 minutes, and look at the joy among the Rangers fans. Richard Goff launching the high ball in, headed down by Heathley to McCoy. He held off the challenge, and there was Walters to drill the ball into the back of the Celtic net. Well, for once, Hately managed to outwit the defenders in there, into McCoy's feet, and there was Walters just following up, as you said, the knock it in the corner. This is a lovely ball from Goff, a beautiful weighted ball. You can see Hately just moving to the side, nudge it in. There's McCoy's. I think McCoy's was going to have a shot himself there, but uh, just let Walters do it instead. forward looking for Gary Stevens. Brilliant play by the Rangers fullback. Stevens into the middle. Feistra, and it's knocked away by Elliot. William Sunas sitting in the director's box, and you just wonder what's going through his mind at the moment. Matt Bonner marshalling his defence. Matt Walters to take the corner kick. Richard Goff and John Brown are up there on the edge of the Celtic penalty area. Well, the ball cleared there, John Brown almost getting the final touch, Hitley involved as well, Celtic scramble it clear, now it's Jakanowski who's onside, Celtic pouring out of the fence, it's Jakanowski. Peter Grant's in there, the ball cleared away by Richard Goff, now they're getting the touch, Celtic have it again through John Collins. Well, incredible stuff at both ends of the field. Hewitt trying to get forward, challenged by Nigel Spackman, and there goes the whistle. So this dramatic final 
will go to extra time. The scoreline here at Hamden Park after 90 minutes is Celtic 1, Rangers 1. Stevens hoisting the high one for Hadley, in comes Richard Goff! Oh, a captain's goal from Richard Goff! He's mobbed by the Rangers players, the referee racing over to get them back onto the field. Well, what an afternoon it's turned out to be for Richard Goff. The ball breaking right through to him there, Morris failing to cut it out, and Goff forcing the ball over the line. Well, that's a real opportunist goal from uh, Richard Goff. Coming in at the back there, it was an awkward ball. Hately went up for it initially. The bad bounce beat the Celtic defender, and there was Big Richard just getting a toe to it. And here comes Richard Goff. <laughs> Mr. John McKenzie of Ulwa Brewers handing over the skull cup. And this is Jack Steedman. Will present the League Cup, a huge cheer going up from the Rangers fans. Rangers have now won 11 of the last 13 finals in this tournament. It really is quite remarkable. Four times in the last five years, they really have made it their own. And Terry Butcher, well. He'll be delighted for his teammates. Crushing disappointment for him last month when he was dropped for the semi-final tie against Aberdeen. Uh, the delighted Gary Stevens there. Well, Ian, they really have made it their own trophy. Yes, they certainly have. Uh, and as I say, I, I feel Rangers and Celtic today, you were a credit to the game. I thought it was a wonderful uh, cup final. And Rangers, in the end, just about deserving to win it.